Hello and welcome to Piano Shack with me, Woody. In today's video, I have a quick start tutorial on this, the Korg PA5X. Perhaps you're a lucky owner or you want to try one out in the store or you're just curious. So let's get started. There's a few things I recommend you check to get the best possible results when you're starting out. The first thing is this crossfader here. Interestingly, this has two different style engines. You can see them here at the top. So you can play two different styles at the same time and then crossfade between them here. That's for more advanced users. For today, as we're just starting out, just make sure to whack that all the way over to the left so you're just hearing the first style. Over here on the left, there are some settings to check as well. These control which area of the keyboard is scanned to detect which chords you're playing. And again, as we're starting out, the most common way to do this is just to use the lower part of the keyboard. So make sure that lower is lit up and not upper. Make sure that the memory button is illuminated so that as you play chords and release them, the style will continue to play, even if you're not holding it down with your left hand, that's normally how you want it. And over here, activate auto fill, so that's illuminated. That will give you automatic cool fills as you transition between the different variations. We might as well select synchro start so that the style, the accompaniment starts playing as soon as we play a chord in the left hand. And also select variation one and if you like, an introduction. We'll talk more about the variations and the introductions later in the video. Whilst we're over here, these four buttons start and stop pads, which is a repeating rhythmic phrase. Really nice. These can be additional drum loops or arpeggiators, for example. Four of those to play with, and there's a stop button there as well. Another very important setting over here to check is the style to keyboard set control. Make sure that you've selected user here. These buttons here affect what parameters these manipulate. So put it onto user. This button here affects what the display shows, if it's showing what the parameters are for the sliders or for the buttons. So switch it over so the buttons are illuminated and here you can see style to keyboard set. You want to set this so that it's flashing. Let me explain why. So keyboard set is the PA5X terminology for a sound. It's actually a combination of four different sounds. And what this means, if it's steadily lit, then the keyboard will choose a set of four sounds for you whenever you choose a style. So that's really handy. You get four appropriate keyboard sets to play with. If you have it flashing, then it's even further enhanced because as you change the variations, it will automatically select a new sound for you. And that's really great in the beginning when we're starting out as the keyboard will pick suitable sounds for us. We don't have to do it and it saves us a lot of time when we're performing and auditioning with the keyboard. After you've activated that, you can just go back to main there. And now the faders will control the volume of the various parts. Most importantly here on the right, we can adjust the the volume of the keyboard part, the melody part that you're playing in the right hand. So you might want to reach for that if you feel it's too soft or too loud. Over here we have the pad matrix, which has four different modes that you choose from here. The first three modes trigger slightly amusing and humorous one-shot samples like uh, quiz sounds, audience applause and rap samples and so on. A lot of fun. I'll demonstrate some of, you, some of those for you later but I recommend you have it on the fourth page here. And what that does is give you instant access to mute the accompaniment parts in the style so that you can make the style more sparse if you think it's slightly too busy. That's really useful. So make sure you have it on four for your performance. Let me give you an overview of the most important elements here on the main screen. Here you can choose a style, more on that later. We'll just exit from there right now. Here you can see what sounds you have assigned to the pads that we talked about earlier on the left hand side of the screen. Here is the name of the keyboard set that is currently selected. 
It's called My Setting. That's a bit strange. Let's press that button there and choose something which is a bit of a better example. And here we can see the four keyboard sets that Korg have associated with this style, Future Pop. Remember, since we earlier selected style to keyboard set, flashing, these will automatically change as we change variation, which is super nice. In this box here, where the style information is, we also have the tempo and the time division. Now, there are some tabs here at the bottom that are good to be aware of. This is the main one. We can then touch this one and get an overview of which sounds are in this particular keyboard set. Just going to jump through the four different keyboard sets for this style and you can see exactly which sounds are uh, selected here and activated. I'll go into more details about selecting sounds and keyboard sets a little bit later in the video. If we go into control, we get a graphical representation of the sliders and buttons, the physical controls that we have on the left of the screen. So you can adjust them here, if you like, or on the physical controls. Then we have the mixer. We won't go into details today, but that's where you'll find it. And I think that's all the settings you need to be aware of as you're just getting started out. So let's go back to the main page there. Okay then, we need to choose our style. That's the accompaniment genre that we want to play along with. Two ways to do that. You can press the touch screen here. I'm gonna jump back to the main screen by hitting the exit button, or you can press the style button. Remember there's two engines, so there's two style buttons. We're gonna choose a style for the left hand, the first style, so just press the style one here. Now, we have lots of different genres to choose from here. I'm going to go to Funk over here, we have also different pages, 10 styles in each page, all different musical genres. I want to choose Street Soul today. Choose it, exit, takes us back to the main screen. Main screen. Now, remember that I said that the keyboard will automatically choose appropriate keyboard sets for us. Well, it does that, but you can also select them manually here. It's chosen four different keyboard sets for us. Piano, we have electric piano, organ, and the brass section. If you want to see exactly how these keyboard sets are made up, just go over to the keys section and you can see how all of these different sounds are layered and split and which ones are active. Go back to the main, choose number one, and we're ready to go. Okay, a few words on the intros, the endings that we have over here, variations, four of those, four fills, a break, and there's, as you can see, perhaps three intros, three endings. What's the difference between all of these? Starting with the intros, intro one is the most busy, complex, and long, and it's got a pre-programmed chord progression. I'll demonstrate for you in a second. Intro two is also quite complex and long, but you can trigger your own chords, which is really cool. Intro three, then, is more of a short, perhaps a one-bar fill or a count-in or something, and off you go. It's the same thing with the endings. Ending uh, one, the longest with a pre-programmed chord progression. Ending two, you play your own chords. Ending three, a short ending. We have four fill-ins here, which we can trigger manually, but remember we activated auto-fill, which means as we switch between the variations, it will automatically trigger a fill, which is what we want. But what is a variation? Well, we have four of them to choose from. They are just different, Parts of a song, perhaps, variation one tends to be the most sparse arrangement with the least stuff going on. Perhaps you'd use that for the verse. Variation two, slightly more busy, the second verse. Variation three, we're getting to perhaps something we can use for the chorus with a lot more going on. Variation four, perhaps suitable for the bridge. But you'll just have to experiment. That's the whole fun about these, is that you can play around see which styles and variations you like. And remember, we can also mute parts to get almost endless combinations of styles. We're about to start playing some music. Let's get funky. Oh, well, that was a bit cheesy. 
It takes a lot of time, work and money for me to make these videos with the preparation, research, planning, shooting and editing of the videos. So if you made it this far, then please subscribe to the channel. It costs you nothing. It's just a click, but it means a lot to me. Thanks ever so much. let's take a listen to these intros and outros. Remember we selected sync start so all I need to do is press down the keys here, an appropriate chord, an F minor 7 and off we go. And we're into it now. Just play the chords you want, even the wrong chords if you like. This is a street life style. Variation two. You heard the fill. Variation three. We can also trigger fills manually. And even a break, like this. And into the ending. Ending one. Very nice. Just let's take a listen to, let's take a different style, why don't we? Since we're, let's take the next one here. This is Everybody Bros. Let's take a look at intro two, I have no idea. Make sure you've chosen which variation you want the intro to lead into as well, like so. It's flashing, saying variation one is ready to go. Intro two will play. Let's do something in C. I've never played this style before. I need to play my own chords here. Let's try intro, uh, the ending three. Actually, we can trigger. Intro three here, let's have a listen. You can hear that was simple, let's do the ending three. I have no idea what everything, what everybody bros is uh, referring to. Let me know in the comments if you recognize that style, I didn't. Okay, I've chosen a style at random. This is Soul Bros, another Bros, no idea what's going on there. Let's have the intro and I'm going to demonstrate how the keyboard will automatically select the right hand melody part for us. So off we go. Another way to start the style is to press the big button here, the big play button, but I like to use my left hand. Let's do something in G minor. Should have been major. Okay, variation one, still not quite there yet, it's flashing. There's also a countdown on the screen. Variation two. We've got an overdriven guitar. Variation three. Organ. Variation four, tenor sax. Ending one, no virtuoso performances today. I just want to demonstrate the features for you and show you how everything works. Cool uh, style, by the way. You can, if you want, override the automatic selection of these sounds by just pressing on the four buttons here. Another thing you might want to do is change the tempo, although the styles seem to have really good default tempos. You just do it with these buttons over here and it's shown on the screen what the value is. Alternatively, you can tap tempo. Let me 
show you now how we can mute some of the style parts tracks using the matrix over here so let's start this up variation one the style is called soul let's hit it in e flat sync start on off we go i'm going to go to a more busy variation this is very cool Take it to the bridge. Okay. Wow. Love it in this. Love it. Track one is your bass. These are accompaniment parts. Just the drums. Wow, cool. Let's bring in the bass. Guitar. Wow, nice uh, funk guitar there. Bring the drums back in in a second with a break, I think. Let's try that. Oh, 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 I love it. Wow, what an epic style. I haven't heard that before. I'm not going to go into too much detail here because this is a good video topic in itself, but if you do want to choose sounds yourself, then you just simply choose the category you want here. For example, let's do piano then, number one. And now, just like the style browser, we have pages and pages of piano sounds to choose from. Or we don't have to have a piano, we can choose a different category over here as well and then just exit to take you back to the main page. And here you can see the sound or the keyboard set that we've selected. Yes, a keyboard set actually contains up to four different sounds that are displayed here. You have a lower and then three upper parts. So let's try what this sounds like with all three upper parts activated. <laughs> So this is a super easy way to build up nice layers. I wish it was as easy on the workstation synthesizers. Very cool feature. And everything in Korg PA5X is based on the concept of keyboard sets. So you very rarely load individual sounds. You're loading a keyboard set which has these pre-programmed layers and splits, much like a multi or a combi or perhaps a performance mode if you're used to workstation synthesizers. Well, I hope you found that interesting and informative. Once again, please consider subscribing to the channel. And thank you so much if you already have. I'll see you again next time. Cheerio.